a man's best friend. That's what we call dogs. But what about a man's second chance? A man's lifeline? A man's beacon of hope? That's what eyes, ears, nose, and paws redefines dogs as. Just off the side of the road, on the old NC-86 highway, is an ordinary house. Well, as ordinary as it can be, with dogs in the kitchen and dogs in the living room, ready to embark on an extraordinary journey. Let's start where all good things start, with puppies. From an early age, they are cared for, groomed, and painstakingly trained by young puppy trainers and staff, and start impacting lives from the moment they're born. Meet Evelyn, a young puppy trainer and her charge, Norm. Evelyn graduated from UNC two years ago and works in a cancer research lab here in North Carolina. How does Norm fit into this, you ask? Well, aside from being a backseat driver, Norm trains with Evelyn every day, from walks on the various trails in Chapel Hill or Hillsboro to a good dose of positive reinforcements from Evelyn and her two roommates. To quote Evelyn, Norm was so chill, he chilled me out and made me rethink my priorities. But after a while, Evelyn and Norm must part ways so Norm can be trained at the office. But at the ENP office, training is never just training. There's fun all around, from pretending to be a misbehaving pup during a training simulation to the hilarious consequences of a puppy mix-up. And so, with their early training coming to an end, the puppies come one step closer to following their legacy and reflecting on where they stand with those that came before. Once the puppies reach the age of one, they embark on a rigorous training regimen, spending four to five days a week within the local prison. But these dogs offer more than just assistance to individuals with disabilities. They become beacons of redemption and transformation for those behind bars, forging a path of hope and renewal for everyone. After all, everyone deserves a second chance. In this higher level training, they learn more specialized activities such as opening doors and wheelchair walking that prepare them for their future owners. Another form of training is medical alert training where they are taught to sniff out diabetic symptoms and spikes in blood sugar, which allow them to call it to attention before it spirals. In this specific case, this woman's dog started a chain of whines and barks in the middle of a meeting at a UNC library for no apparent reason, but in truth, detected a massive fall in her blood sugar and allowed her enough time to prevent any other consequences. Now, finally, with all this training, the dogs meet their future owners, which, at its core, is a special bond of love that's slowly being built. Meet Kyla, a college student at NC State, and her new charge, Myrtle. Kyla and Myrtle first met with uncertainty in their hearts, but soon came to realize they're actually kindred spirits. And now, Myrtle gets to put her lifelong training to the test as she helps Kyla step out of her comfort zone by pulling her wheelchair along. And together, they navigate this new chapter in their lives. But having Myrtle is more than just training and responsibility. Finding someone you can bake applesauce cakes with, someone you can introduce to your 20 chickens and hang around campus with. In short, it's finding your best friend. And now, finally, it's time for Myrtle to start a new life, their new family, and achieve her purpose. That brings us to graduation day. The day where Kyla and Myrtle truly become one for life, and families come together. So, in the end, what do these loving, goofy, and reliable animals do in their dynamic lives. They impact the smiles of children, of careful parents, of the staff that cares for them. From the day they're born, they brighten the lives of volunteers, from all walks of life. And even in the span of their limited existence, they have the incredible capacity to touch many people deeply, and leave a lasting impression that won't be forgotten. But with every story that ends, a new one always begins.